Now at 5.30, hate crimes are up in major U.S. cities, including right here in L.A. New study shows a 9% spike across the country in just one year. The NBC4i team is looking at both the national and the local numbers. You mentioned the I-team investigative reporter Lolita Lopez is back now with why this may be happening. Yeah, well, let's talk about the targets. First of all, the targets of these hate crimes are diverse. The most common victims, the report says, African Americans and gays with one particular group seeing the biggest increase. <laughs> A synagogue in San Diego County, a man with anti-Semitic views firing on people praying inside. One woman dead, three others injured. This year's shooting follows a disturbing reality. A new report on hate crime shows Jewish people were the direct target of half of the extremist homicides in 2018. Hate crimes up 9% in major U.S. cities that same year, including Los Angeles. We are now having our fifth consecutive Executive increase in 30 of the largest American cities. Cal State San Bernardino professor Brian Levin is behind the report reviewing hate crimes across the country and says LA is at a decade's high. The I team wanted to know more about what's happening in LA, so we analyzed hate crimes tracked by the LAPD. Citywide, we found a big jump, a nearly 15% increase from June of last year through June 2019. That increase includes robberies, simple assaults, and criminal threats, but there are no hate related murders or rapes either year. We asked Levin what could be contributing to the hate crime spike. He points to an online shift focused on often closed or encrypted chat rooms at people's fingertips. We now have people who radicalize, sometimes self-radicalize, on the internet where there's a 24-hour hate rally and 24-hour open bigoted bookstore. The report shows the number of white nationalist groups increased 48% last year alone. As a parent, we wouldn't let a neo-Nazi or a Klansman through our front door, but with the internet, we are. So you have to be more inquisitive about what your young folks are doing. And really, young folks and all folks. Now, social media companies have been monitoring and flagging content it deems unacceptable or against their policies as well. For the first time, Levin says a slight majority of hate crime victims now report to police, but many of those cases do not lead to arrests or prosecutions. And here's something we really need to pay attention to, and we will. The report shows hate crimes overall spiked during political events and because of some of the messaging by political leaders. So as we look ahead to 2020, we're going to keep our eyes on any changes. Guys, back to you.